Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Thursday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis, and I am thrilled to be here to play. I am going to be using the same stamps that I the same stamps that I used last week because I love it. And but I have something else I want to do with them. So last week I stamped on cardboard, and you can see that in uh, my YouTube channel. You can see the recording from that broadcast there. I think I called it cardboard flower something. <laughs> Card? I can't remember. Anyway, you find it under cardboard flower. Um, there, These are stamps from Catherine Scanlon Designs. Here they are. This is Whimsical Flower Set, I believe. Whimsical Flower Set, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to be using this uh, with on fabric today with ink tents, blocks, and pencils. Uh, so we're going to be coloring on fabric because I do have a, a little quilty project that I have in mind. So I wanted to play around with it. And I thought, what a better place to do it but here with you all because we like to play and experience new products together. I know well, I know, I like to do that with you because you never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Wow, you just found out today it's Elvis's birthday. Yes, he would have been 80s. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, on that side note, here is a little something that I did with another one of Catherine's stamps. Um, this one's called Butterfly. Uh, it was in her late fall release with uh, Art Gone Wild. And uh, I stamped it on some white cloth, white cotton. And then I went ahead and did some free motion stitching all the way around the outside edge. And this is very important and I'll show you why in a minute. Then I colored it with the ink tents. And then I did some free motion stippling, not even stippling, it's my doodling, my free motion doodling around the outside to quilt it on this fabric. Inside there is a fusible fleece. So I did quilt it with a fleece inside to get a little poofy. I like the poof. Okay, so I was saying that it was important for me to stitch around the outside edges of the stamp that I stamped on the fabric. And the reason is because we don't want the ink tents to bleed. Now, I have seen online different um, methods. One person, I believe, used the gel medium. I'd have to double check that. I did see something on there. Uh, Karen, what type of thread did you use when free motion stitch? I just used an also from Guterman. That's what I used. And it was a white one. The white also from Guterman. So anyway, backtrack. Um, if you put the gel on first, the paint will stay on or the ink tents will stay on the gel and it won't bleed out as much, uh, which is good. If you don't use anything at all, this is what happens. You get a little bit of a bleed out. Okay, so I wanted to avoid that, so I quilted it. I free motion quilted all around the outside edge. You can see that here. See that free motion quilt line? I just did this on uh, one of my sewing machines I have here in the studio. I think I used the 85E from Brother, for those of you who know the machines and are curious. Uh, with my free motion foot for brother, I use the SA129. Ha, there you go. For those techies out there, that will mean something to you. <laughs> okay, so then I just colored it. But you can see where I did uh, free motion stitch all the way around the outside edge. Then I colored. Okay, you're welcome, Eileen. It is my pleasure. Um, so make sure you do something to protect your uh, line. When I have used um, watercolor pencils and... Uh, ink tents in the past on paper, I have embossed my stamp so that the there's no mixing of the color that way. You just want to be able to have some sort of barrier between your, your piece. Okay, so I have my piece of white cotton. I have put some fusible fleece on the back and I will just show you how I created this. This is what I'm going to be coloring with you today. Um, here are the stamps. I already showed you from the whimsical set and I've simply layered them and I've layered them with the mask. Now I did that a little last week as well in the cardboard, but I will show you here with it very quickly so that everybody knows if you've just seen this video, where this process came from. So I'm taking my, this is archival ink and I am just stamping on it. Okay. And just pressing down 
onto my fabric. Now this is a pretty juicy archival ink. I did, uh, I did put some reinker on this so that uh, it would stamp really beautifully. I love these stamps. Do you have a YouTube account? Yes, I do. Um, Karen Ellis is my name, and that is the name that is my YouTube account. If you search in YouTube, Karen Ellis, it will come up there. Okay, so I've got a few uh, flowers on. And now I'm going to just, this was a mask I made last week to go over the flowers because I want to layer them. So I've got a different flower. Here's the flower. Stamps off, dump, dump the ink down. And I'm overlapping a touch here. See? So that it looks like there's some in behind. You can do that over here as well. Doesn't have to be completely. Oops. Ugh. Oh well, that doesn't matter. I'll quilt that in. <laughs> Actually, truth be told, it's going to be cut here anyway. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm only going as far as the fleece. <laughs> Put that down. So you can see how you can start to layer your images so you get more of a natural look even when you're stamping. I'm going to stamp one more of that flower over here for now. I'm not going to fill in the whole space because this isn't what I wanted to do with you today necessarily, but um, get you an idea. I'm using the leaves that came in that stamp set. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Is this the right stamp? Yes, it is. I'm going to put my mask back on and go ahead and stamp the leaf so the leaf looks like it's in behind the flower. Do, do, I get to sing again today. So I, I, you get the idea, right? So you can just fill it in. Should do one over here. And you just kind of keep going until you have a composition that you're looking forward to. So I like it. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, for those of you who are on the uh, chat right now, just did a link to my YouTube channel. Karen Ellis AHS art house studio so that's what that is so then what I'll do is I'll take this and I it has fleece on the back but what I will do is take another piece of this cotton you could even use um, a muslin too for the backing and attach it either with some um, spray adhesive or you can do some fusible um, uh, interfacing on it so that it stays and then that way it's a nice smooth surface I'm hoping I'm not getting you too dizzy. <laughs> it's most smooth surface to free motion stitch. And if I can ever figure out how to properly show me sewing on, uh, on Ustream or in a video, I will do that so that you can see how I go about it. So I will back this because I don't want the fleece to get caught in my sewing machine. Okay. So as I said, this is what I'm going to be working with today. Ta-da! Do, do. Um, I love this and as I say I do have some plans and I wanted to play so um, you're going to be with me today while I use my ink tents blocks so here are the blocks here are my pencils I have uh, here in the studio I do sell the pencils open stock and I have the sets in them in the blocks right now but uh, I'll go from there I'm really liking these Kathy I know you are watching live right now um, the blocks are fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take a wet uh, brush. Here's my wet brush. And um, let's I love this blue. So I'm going to take this block blue. Just get some ink off the block and put it on my fabric. Now I'm going, because I like it darker along the edges, and then drag the drag the ink in because we have or because I have stitched around the edge it's going to hold that uh, moisture in it won't it won't bleed at least but you still I'm just going to move my uh, water over so that you can see that okay so I am kind of dragging it lightly I don't want it to be If I was using a big, I could do a big swash of this. 
and then drag it around. Oh, look, I did get a bit out. Sure, the very first thing I do, I got it on it. <laughs> so your brush needs to be a little bit wet, but certainly not saturated. You want to keep it inside. It's okay. So now at this point, I'm going to go in, here's my water dish, and I want to show you by doing it this way, see if I can get it into the screen so that you can see. This would make a great pencil, well yes it would, <laughs> it would make lots of great things. <laughs> so this one is Sicilian Yellow Intense Pencil. What I'm going to do at this point is um, I'm going to kind of dip the end into the water. See if you can see that. Just a little into the water. And then go in and do some shading. So I'm going to go in and just do some pencil marking along my green areas here. Just to kind of get some highlights. Highlights and lowlights. see if I can show you but by but by doing it with the wet pencil it stays can you see that so you just have to be careful because whatever you do it will mix with the color that's underneath right okay so I do like it as this as the fabric dries it'll get brighter again so I'm just going to go through and add a little bit more of this in all of my flowers fun so I am going to put a couple of little dots in the in the center circles but I'm really liking how this is coming along now this isn't colored all the way to the edge here's here's another example I only went to where I stitched can you see my stitch line so maybe I will take an orange mm, this is the poppy red I use so here's the orange okay hold on an orange and just kind of color on my stitches with not with the the block but with the pencil 
So that way it's not wet. And I can do, and that will come, and that will go right to the edges. That's if you care. <laughs> so I'm just trying to think, maybe I'll take that orange and just add a few in the dots here. Don't you think? That's what I think. A few in there. And I do want to get some I do want to get some uh, white in there too. That's good. And where's my white? Now my white's pretty dull, so I'm going to have to Could you believe uh, I'm glad you guys like it. Could you bleach to remove some? I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's a good question. I just, I'm just going to put some white highlights on some of these areas here where I want them, but I am going to need to Actually, I'm thinking I'm okay. Do you know what I think I might do? Is put some Viva Decor pearl pens on this. <laughs> right, so here's my ice white pearl pen from Viva Decor. A French knot in the middle would be great too if I wanted to stitch it. But this way, This way I can have a little dimensional accent. And these work really nicely on fabric. They're for fabric. They are a fabric pen. So I'm liking this. See? Wow, that's what it needed. Now the other cat's here. <laughs> the cat hurt you. <laughs> so there you be. So I'm going to, I think that would be okay. Um, it's not too bad. I'm just going to put the lid on this. don't quite know why my... But this is looking pretty good. So can you picture a whole piece done and then used in a little project? I can also see this as part of a square and part of a composition in, a, in an art quilt, which might this might use in that as well. <laughs> yeah, I know I like the little uh, pearls. I do quite, uh, quite a lot. So remember, I am going to be taking the large sheet Da, da, da. I am going to fill this up because this is going to be a little case. Yes. And when I'm done it, I will post it. I probably won't get it done this weekend, um, but I'll work on it. And uh, I will post that next week or let you see. Hopefully, maybe I can get it done for next Thursday, depending on what I have. So, yeah, I quite like. Thank you so much for joining me. Working with the Inktense blocks and pencils little Viva Decor pearl pen on uh, fabric using those uh, Catherine Scanlon stamps. Gotta love it. All right, I'm going to stop the recording now. So those of you who are watching this recording, thank you so much for joining us. This project along with the, uh, the recording will be posted on our blog, theArthousestudio.ca. Uh, is the website, theArthousestudio.blogspot.com is the blog, which you can link to from the website. Or, of course, you can follow me on YouTube, Karen Ellis. Find me on there. Yay! Yeah, I'm quite liking that. I think this is going to make a really, really great quilted... Uh, see, here's the back. Woohoo! See, it does come through. 
Nice quilted piece. I can line it though. It'll be good. Awesome. Thanks again for joining me. We will see you all again next Thursday evening here at the Art House Studio. Bye now.